Hi guys, my name is Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my May favorites. So I have different clothing, songs, movies, books, all different things that I'm going to be talking about that were my favorites in May. And honestly, some of these things have been my favorites all year, but I feel like especially in May, I've really enjoyed them. So let's get started. First up, I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite clothing items. So this shirt that I'm wearing, it just says be happy. It's been one of my favorites. It's a little crop tank. It's kind of hard to see with the way the camera is, but I like the length of the sleeves and it pairs well with a nice pair of running shorts or also with jeans and dressed up. So this has been one of my favorite items. I just like how simple it is. And this is from Altered State. Also from Altered State, one of my favorites has been this purse I just got in May, specifically because I needed a bag for summer that was a little bit smaller because a lot of the bags I had were bigger and I just like a little hip purse that I can wear going to the mall, going out with friends in the beach, uh, down the beach, whatever I want to do. So just this cute little purse. I kind of have a lot of stuff in there right now, but like black, it's simple, with the gold detailing. So it's been one of my favorites. Next up in the clothing accessories category, I have this necklace. You can see it's from Kendra Scott and my sorority actually did a fundraiser with Kendra Scott and I had my eye on a couple pieces so I decided to purchase them there and it's just this really dainty gold layered necklace and um, I like how there has a little star here. Pairs well, I usually wear it with most of my outfits but today I just wore a simple necklace because of this shirt but I really like this piece. I've been wearing it a lot in May and I'm excited for this summer wearing it even more. Next up with accessories, I have these bracelets. They're kind of hard to see. I can insert a picture, but they're from Little Words Projects bracelets. And my mom has given me a lot of them throughout the year. This is my little stack here and they have different words on them. So the one says courage, the one says strength, the one says bestie, one says you got it. And I just like these as little reminders on my wrist. I feel like the words are really powerful. And I like having words that mean something because a lot of times um, my mom gave them to me with meaning. So the first one, strength, when I went off to college, I feel like that was such a good one. And then throughout um, the year, I've collected some. And then this May, I've been wearing them a lot more just because I really like them with my outfits. So I can insert a picture here, but they're really cute. The next category I have is music. And I've been listening to a lot of music in May. I love turning on um, my, I don't want to say it, Alexa. <laughs> I love turning on that and listening to music around my room while I'm cleaning, just doing other tasks. So some of the music I've been listening to, um, Justin Bieber came out with an album in April that I've been listening to one song called As I Am, which I really like. Also a song, Somebody, I've always had on. And then Thomas Rhett came out with an album. So I've been listening to all the songs, specifically country. Again, that's a really good one. And then also Olivia Rodrigo. I've been listening to her music and Deja Vu. And then Good For You have been the top two listens for that album. So I've been listening to a lot of music, but those are just some of my favorites this May. Next up, I have some of my favorite shows. And now that I'm out of school, I've had more time to watch TV, which has been nice. And so I started the show Friends in the beginning of the year. I think I started around September and I really liked it, but I just never had time during the year to sit down and watch TV. And although the episodes are usually 20 to 22 minutes, I never really had time to sit and watch a full season or something like that. I'm just not a person that really likes to binge watch shows, especially when I feel like I should be doing something else. So I've been watching a lot of shows, specifically this one. So I'm now on season three, um, I think like episode eight or something like that. And that's been a really good show. And they just came out with the reunion, which I'm excited to see. So that's something I've been watching. And also I've been watching two shows, Manifest and A Million Little Things. And these just came back on air in um, April and May. So I've been watching them a lot more, even though I used to watch them. But like I said, college, I didn't really have time to watch shows. So I just put it off till I got home and I've been trying to get through those episodes. So it's such a good show on NBC or it might be ABC. I'm not sure which one, but I just know it's on um, cable TV. Next up, I have some books that I've been reading. So first up, 
This is Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. I've been reading this now that I have time, like I said, to read more books. And it's really good. The chapters are short, just kind of with a little life lesson. And she puts her personal anecdotes, which are always funny and interesting to read. So I really like this book. And I usually just read a chapter or two a day, something simple. And in this book, The Return, I love Nicholas Sparks books. I've been reading this a lot and I'm excited for reading a bunch of his books this summer because I've read a couple but I decided this summer I'm going to read a lot of them because they're perfect beach reads and they're just perfect reads um right before I go to bed at night so I've been loving this book. For my last category of favorites I decided to just call it other because I had three things that didn't really fit in the category so first up I just had this little dish here my mom got it for me and it sits on my dresser and it holds my little words project bracelets but it's so cute and I think that it's just a perfect accessory for my bureau and I just like how I always know where my bracelets are because I feel like I always try not to lose my bracelets but they always get misplaced somehow so something like this is perfect so that I don't misplace them. Next up in the other category, I have this inspirational daily calendar that I got from my sorority big love her. I think I got it back in March and it's always been on my desk at school, but at home I have the perfect spot for it on my desk that I really can see it every day. And I really like these little uh, quotes that they have, little phrases, and I always like to flip it and see the new one in the morning. And then I try and center my day around that. So for example, this one says, just because my path is different doesn't mean that I am lost. So I kind of think about this phrase throughout the day whenever I'm doing something, whenever the day gets tough and it just really centers me and reminds me of something something to focus on and I love how it's different every day and I can use it throughout the whole year and I probably will continue using it even though they wouldn't change per day but I just think it's a good reminder a little inspirational message to start your day. Then the last item I have in the other category I don't physically have with me, but it's a food item. I've been loving the La Colombe oat milk draft lattes and I've always loved um, La Colombe coffee, but I didn't know that they had the oat milk draft lattes, so I've been drinking those a bunch. I like to pour them over, the, over ice or just drink them out of the can and they're per the perfect um, kickstart to my morning, so I've really been enjoying those. So those are all the items I'm going to be showing you guys today for my May favorites and I'm really excited to be back home filming a lot of content for you guys. I have a couple videos lined up and follow me on Instagram at Adventures of Caitlin. I can put it here on the screen because I'm going to be posting a lot more on there like different stories and just different um, fun content you can keep up with my day to day. So that's all I have for you guys today and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.